you can't be trying to get into relationships here and there. Most of the time, girls will be just as happy if they were your fuck friend or you're just dating than be in an actual relationship. Some guys know we beat yourself up. This video topic will be about why you shouldn't get into relationships so fast. Before you get into the video, go check out yourselfup.com and blog posts on a weekly basis just for you guys. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for most of the male population, getting into a relationship is like the be all and the be all and all. And since most men are considered unattractive to women because they don't take care of themselves enough, they get very desperate and needy. And then they get addicted to the whole relationship energy and the whole clinginess of being in a relationship with a girl and trying to have her to himself once he starts getting girlfriends. And the problem with that is you become too much of a, an easy catch. You give up. You give off this, uh, this boyfriend vibe. So instead of being the cool guy, who girls can just come and fuck around, and you don't give yourself so easily. You're always busy. You have stuff to do, and girls are given the opportunity to chase you. You just are always available. You always want to get serious very quick. You have certain insecurities. You see, fellows. If you want to have great relationships, you first need to fuck around a lot. You first need to know what kind of girl you like, what kind of girls out there exist, what are their signs, what are the red flags. You have to learn to get better at dating, pretty much. But that's also that's not the only reason why you shouldn't get into relationships too fast. Girls love competition. And if you get into a relationship too fast, and you feel, and she feels like she won you over too easily, she will get turned off. The whole honeymoon stage of a relationship is in the first two to three months. That's when the most fucking happens. That's when most of the fun happens. That's when most of the exciting adventures and events and hanging out happens. And afterwards, things get stagnant. And if you gave yourself up too quick, she won you over too easy, too fast. There's no more competition. You're not being cool. You're not hanging out anymore. You're always being with her. She gets turned off. There's no competition. There's no vibe. There's no mystery. There's no uh, working for your validation. You can't be trying to get into relationships here and there. Most of the time, girls will be just as happy if they were your fuck friend or you're just dating than be in an actual relationship you need to wait and build that up don't get into a relationship with a girl until it's been like around three months of dating that's like the best window i use that window specifically for myself when it comes to dating and girls i give myself a window of around three months of just dating and i see how it goes i see is there any red flags uh what's the girl's habit how are things going do our schedules fit to where we can still hang out and stuff? Is she very viable to be a girlfriend material or just to fuck around with? I also try to do some a little bit of a dark game. I try some push and pull tactics. I try a little bit of manipulation here and there. And that sounds fucked up. It's not. It's natural. And I see how she reacts to it. So you need to know. That not every girl is made for a relationship. And some girls enjoy more the chase, the thrill of the hunt, the dating phase, than the relationship phase. Don't give yourself so easily. You've got three months of keeping this girl a, a dating partner who wants to be in a relationship. And the best relationships is the one where the girl fought hard to want to have you. When I walk around outside for a girl... If she's not trying to grab my hand and hold my hand, if she's not trying to get affection, if she's not trying to turn me on, that shows she's not very interested, fellas. If you're turning her on, okay, 
And then she reciprocates and tries to turn you on. Are you dating a girl? Are you seeing how things are going? It's going well. You went on dates, you made out, you fucked. And she has never once brought up a relationship. She does not want to be in a relationship, buddy. So, get that through your head. If she doesn't bring up a relationship, it's because she doesn't want to be in a relationship. If she doesn't try to physically always be around you and touch you, she does not want much emotional connection right there. If she does not try to want to have and push for or a relationship, she's not interested. It's that simple. And sometimes that's good because not every woman is made to be in a relationship, fellas. Remember that. Not every woman is made to be in a relationship. Girls freak out when they hear that, but that is the truth. Don't be an easy catch. You will turn her off very quickly. The honeymoon phase is always in the first couple of months. So date the girl for the first couple of months and then see how it goes. You will thank me. And also, you should be working on yourself more than you should be in these relationships. Because honestly, dating a girl and fucking around is a lot less work than being in a relationship. Sure, you have more meaningful emotional connection and all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, okay, cool. That distracts you. That takes away time from yourself, from your business, whatever goals you have in mind, your uh, personality development, things you want to change in life. And most of the time these girls are full of insecurities where they can't even handle themselves and they will try to manipulate you and try to control certain parts of your life. And if you haven't dated around enough, fucked around enough, you won't know how to handle the manipulation and the shit test. You won't know how to see her red flags and see what she's trying to do, what she's pushing for. It's been called experience, fellas. You need experience. It's very important. And the number one, the three things guys just do the most is they're too needy to get themselves too quick too easily. They get into relationships too quick. Another thing, they don't have the girl chase them enough for a relationship. And last but not least, lacking of experience. Don't get into a relationship if you don't need it she needs it more than you now you hold the dynamic power here once you fucked she needs to keep you around if you don't know that if you don't know how to use that to your advantage simple she wants to see you more if you if you fuck her good she wants to see you a lot more don't always be available city girl once twice maximum per week and continue that progress for around three months to see how things go did she lose interest? Did she gain interest? If you're trying to get you to see her friends or her family, she really wants a relationship. That's a good sign. Girls who want the relationship more than the guy are girls who have a higher interest than the guy. The one who has the less interest holds the most power. That sounds messed up, but that's just the law of nature, man. The girl needs to love you more than you love her. She needs to be. She needs to want to be in a relationship with you more than you want to be in a relationship with her. It's that simple, right? Cool. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on DrewSupUp.com or my IG DrewSupUp. Stay tuned for more content. With that being said, you've chosen wisely. Take care. Drew yourself out.